Uh, hello, Steve Oldham from the BII. Thank you so much for joining us um, on our uh, Hospitality Talks vlog. Um, really appreciate you taking the time. Um, uh, most of the people that are watching this now or listening to this now will know exactly who you are and who the BII are. But just for clarity, do you want to just do a brief introduction as to as to, to who you are, what the BII do um, and, and what your, your place in all of that is? Yeah, thanks, Casey. Um, so, yeah, I'm the chief exec of the BII. I've been uh, working in transition with Mike List the last few months. So that's going to come to an end and Mike's going to continue supporting us, uh, particularly important in this uh, very interesting time, which I'm sure we'll come back to. Um, so yeah, the BII is an individual membership organisation uh, within the uh, licensed trade. Uh, and right now we're trying to support our members through probably the toughest time uh, they've ever faced. Okay, so tell me, Steve, from your, in your opinion, what current state is the BII in? You know, what have been the immediate effects of the coronavirus situation on the BII as an organisation? Yeah, it's it's interesting science for the BII. You know, we're not insulated uh, from what's happening to our membership, um, but equally, you know, we're well aware that, as I said earlier, you know, pubs are uh, in a really critical phase of their life, um, and our members really need our help. So where we are right now is is we're doing absolutely everything we can to support our members through this. Uh, that's our sole focus. We are fully operational. We moved to home working last week. Uh, all of the team have responded incredibly well. Um, we have all the technology to make that happen and, and stay connected. We're talking once a day to make sure we understand what's going on and importantly, what's really mattering right now to members because things are changing so rapidly and it's making sure we're giving really clear, actionable information to our members. So it's, it's important we're checking in as they go through this and understand what they need to do at what point uh, that we're advising them correctly. So, uh, yeah, the team are there. Uh, they've been there from day one. We haven't had any downtime at all, which is fantastic. Uh, and they feel passionately to do everything they possibly can. They genuinely care about our members and their pubs uh, and feel desperately sorry for what they're going through right now. So they're constantly thinking of ideas and other things that we can be doing uh, to improve our support. Mm -hmm. And so presumably, I mean, you know, my second question is always how has your business adapted um, and what effect are those adaptations having on your business? So, but presumably, obviously, you're all working from home, but things like the helpline are still running, but I would imagine capacity. So how are you adapting the business to cope with the, just the sheer numbers, I would imagine, and unless I'm wrong, but I'd imagine the sheer numbers of people who are contacting the BII for help and support? Yeah, we've, we've had a scale up. Um, so in, in, in normal times, if we can remember what that was like, um, we had less of all of our people on the calls at all the time. Um, so we've really just made sure the whole team has been available. The technology has helped massively for that. So we're, to, we're able to take messages um, if we're unable to answer the call there and then, and we're pretty much rapidly straight back to them. Uh, we're very fortunate we work with some brilliant uh, partners that support our wider help desk. We've actually got six help desks across all the key technical areas that our members need help with and they've been brilliant so doing a number of things one is staffing up to make sure that they're responding really quickly secondly is giving us that feedback about what are the topics that are you know being most asked about or the most help is required and then making sure we're proactively sending content out and if that's help guides or templates or documents or connecting members experiences of an, eff an effective way of, of doing something i mean the other day very early on um, the HMRC were flagged to us as being incredibly appreciative of the situation and able to make some adjustments there and then. So we quickly flagged that member experience out to the rest of our membership, uh, who, who weekly made sure that was one of the actions they took pretty early on in, in this in this current series of events. So we've so we've had to adapt, um, in, you know, and that scale hasn't really dropped off. I think day in day out, the nature of the questions change as things develop, uh, but still right now, whilst we are really supportive of the scale of the government support it's not as yet made it into cash to our members to their pubs and that's what they need so until that's done you know that's at the heart of what we do so our, our adaptation if you like is just focusing on what matters so the first thing is getting the cash going and making sure as soon as that information is available on what they actually have to do we're pushing that out we're making it really really easy so they're not having to again steer the way through the internet and, and make sense of what is quite frankly an overload uh, of information. 
So that's, that's the first area. The second is, whilst that's happening, what else could they be doing? So what other actions could they be taking? So it's things like, how do you effectively lock sites down? You know, taking some simple steps now to safeguard resources, costs, you know, reduce running costs uh, for, for when, you know, when we get through this and, we, and absolutely believe we will get through this. So we need to reopen those venues. But there's lots of things we can be doing right now. We're using our partners to help with that advice. So there's some things that you can do, uh, including at the right time. And it isn't necessarily right now, but, you know, what are we doing around things like training and, and all those good things that we can be doing whilst we've got, you know, obviously sites closed. That said, you know, we've got a lot of members who are taking advantage of takeaway and delivery services, which is fantastic. You know, they, you know they're providing a really needed service when you know whilst the grocery sector is doing a fantastic job and they should be thanked you know you know in line with the frontline workers in the nhs as well because we're all being fed but at times it's difficult to get that supply and, and actually having pubs out there that are delivering great food to their local communities is is amazing and a lot of our, our, our pubs i'd argue have had to adapt far more than we have and in a really short amount of time and they've done it incredibly well and on top of that, they're doing other community activity as well. You know, their staff are out there really helping because they care, which is, you know, fantastic to see. Yeah, I've had some fantastic conversations actually over the last two or three days with, with publicans and, and finding out what they're doing and how they're doing it. And, you know, the pub is the centre of the community and it continues to be so even when it's closed, it seems, which is fantastic. Um, OK, so what do you think then i mean again this is a question i asked somebody yesterday but none of us know the answer but what does the future look like for the bii i mean what will have changed that you think won't change back um when we do get through all of this and you know what, what's the new normal look like yeah the new normal is an interesting question isn't it i think we'll see the world very differently i think for quite a long period of time i think this has made everybody reassess priorities what's really important um, I think there'll be a desperate need to reconnect, um, you know, with friends, colleagues, family, community. Um, and then at the heart of that is the pub. You know, it always has been. It's, it always will be. And there's going to be such a massive opportunity um, because everybody will have this desire, this burning desire to, to go back to the pub, to, to reestablish those contacts. So I think that's fabulous. That's the opportunity. So part of what, what's in store for the BII is to help our members recognize that once we're beyond this initial you know pain um and, and moving through to hopefully a little bit more stability where they can think about the future that we're really thinking about the best relaunch for the whole sector for our members for their pubs because all those drivers are and you know better than anybody in terms of you know cam has been a, a big advocate of that insight on consumers and what they expect that's still there that's not going away the goodwill comes in waves but you're going to have to deliver a great experience so there is more than just an initial wave of goodwill and then you are rebuilding long-term habits long-term loyalty we're making sure the offer's right you know the experience is right because that that's what everybody wants is a fabulous experience when they come back so that's part of, of what we're there to help with so there's lots of ways i think we you know we need to help and, and again change from what necessarily we're doing right now which is what matters right now to sharing great stories so you talk about some of the community stuff you know we want to hear those stories you know part of the asset of the bii with its 8000 members is to share the experiences you know to take advantage of that 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 shared experience because nobody's you know out there as, hasn't you know faced one dilemma or one issue or one challenge and it's how do we join them all up and that's true now and will be ever true going forward so it's again what does the most effective relaunch look like how do you take advantage of that literally that wave of of uh, customers that will just be desperate to get yeah. back to a great pub. Definitely. Absolutely agree. And I will be first in line, I can assure you. <laughs> Uh, Steve Barton from the BII, thank you so much for your time. Um, and I wish you health and happiness for the rest of the week. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thanks, Katie. Thanks.